Hey guys, so update on Jenna. She is, um, she's not doing so well. Jenna Jameson's partner, Lior Bitten, shares an update on her health following her recent GBS diagnosis. Neurologist, she came in today and uh, she wants to run some more tests to make sure it's a uh, Gillian Barr syndrome. On Monday, the 47-year-old former adult film star announced on Instagram that she had been diagnosed with the rare autoimmune disorder that affects the body's nerves and muscles after feeling sick for weeks. I'm in the hospital still. You've gotten some answers. Um, I'm dealing with Gillian Barr Barre syndrome, so I'm um, working through that. But on Wednesday, her partner posted an update to Instagram, revealing that her condition failed to improve and doctors were questioning her diagnosis. It was kind of confirmed, but after the treatment, now they have second doubt, so they're doubting it. They have second thoughts, they're doubting it. So, not sure. So tomorrow, she's gonna be running a lot of tests, a lot of neurological tests. So, to see what's going on and what we're gonna do with her. So, we'll see. Lior elaborates on how Jenna's doing. Her legs become very thin. They're thinning and down, so they become super skinny. He also thanks her fans for their continued love and support. Thank you to everyone, but uh, thank you for everyone for the well wishes. We really appreciate that. Thank you. God bless you. This update comes after Jenna posted a video to social media from her hospital bed, revealing in the caption that she started an IVIG treatment and would most likely stay in the hospital until her treatment was complete. I'm in a hospital in Hawaii right now. I see all your DMs and I appreciate it so much. Prior to sharing her diagnosis, Lior talked about what led to her hospitalization. She's not feeling so good. She was actually uh, throwing up for a couple of weeks and uh, we had to take her to the hospital. He went on to explain that the hospital gave her a CT scan and cleared her to return home, but things quickly got worse. She came back home, she couldn't carry herself. Her muscles in her legs were very weak so she wasn't able to walk to the bathroom she was falling on the way back or to the bathroom and then i would have to pick her up and put her in bed and then it within two days it got really um, not so good her legs started to not older she couldn't she wasn't able to walk and he said that even with a walker jenna wasn't able to hold up her own body weight she uh, collapse her her knees kind of buckled so she wasn't able to hold her body weight so I decided it's she needs to go to the hospital according to the CDC GBS affects around 1 in 100,000 people and is a rare autoimmune disorder in which a person's own immune system damages the nerves causing muscle weakness and sometimes paralysis the disorder can cause symptoms that persist for a few weeks to several years, and the CDC says that most people recover fully, but some have permanent nerve damage, and in rare cases, people have died. As for Jenna, she says she's just focused on getting healthy. So I just uh, had an infusion, and um, we're just working towards getting better.